everyone, this is Sarah from Pets Go Pet Care. So I received a call recently from somebody who is looking to have someone take care of their puppy. And in that phone call, one of the first questions she asked me is, Sarah, how do I know I can trust you? And that's a really, really good question. Like, I obviously wasn't offended by that question or anything. It's very normal to feel afraid. You're giving somebody the keys to your home. A few ways that you know you can trust your pet sitter. The first thing is, are they a legitimate business? And by that I mean, have they registered their business? Do they pay taxes? Do they have insurance? Do they have bonding? Are they a corporation? Are they sole proprietorship? Are they registered at all? Do they invest in their business? For example, the things I've invested in for Pets Go. See, I actually have this written down. Let me just read out the list. Insurance, bonding, scheduling software, ongoing education and certifications, pet first aid, pet first aid kit, an accountant, a bookkeeper, payroll experts. Oh my gosh, we do everything by the books because this is our full-time career. This is our livelihood. It just wouldn't make sense for somebody who's invested so much into their business and into keeping it in good standing to throw that all away just to be dishonest and break your trust. So that's a good way of knowing. The second thing, does your pet sitter have a good reputation and a good online presence? When you Google search your pet sitter, what comes up. It's a good exercise to do and I would avoid somebody who, who says they're a pet sitter but actually doesn't have a website, doesn't have a Facebook page, no reviews, no Yelp page, no nothing like that because how do you know how long they've been around? How do you know that they're reputable, right? Another way that you know how do they keep your information safe because in the wrong hands your home information like your address, your email address, your full name, your travel dates in the wrong hands you could be looking at somebody breaking into your home or you could be looking at identity theft and that's very serious. So somebody who's being trusted with this information has to be serious about your security. So for example, if you look on Pets Go Pet Care, our website, so you go to mypetsgo.ca, you'll see a little lock icon next to the address bar. What that lock icon means is that any information that you send through our website is encrypted so it's protected from hackers. Not all business owners think about having the website certified, but it's a good sign that if they have thought about it and they've spent the money on it then they're probably a legitimate business and they're probably trustworthy. The third way that you know that your pet sitter is trustworthy is how do they respond to your messages? How quickly do they respond? For example, you send a message to your pet sitter and they don't get back to you for three days. How do you know that they're gonna get back to you when you're actually on your vacation? Nobody wants their pet sitter to be MIA when they're sitting on a cruise ship across the world. <laughs> That's every pet owner's worst nightmare. I like to say the interview starts from the first message or the first phone call. Do they answer their phone? Keep things like that in mind. Go with your gut. A trustworthy pet sitter would not let you wait and freak out waiting for a response to your message. One of the most important ways that you know your pet sitter is trustworthy. Do they have processes and backup plans? Because it doesn't matter how careful you are, accidents happen. Your pet sitter needs to have an action plan already in place for those accidents. Vet accidents, home accidents. What if there's a fire in your home while you're on vacation? We actually have a plan for that. You should ask me about it. We have clear protocols for anything out of the ordinary. Here's another great example of a process that we've put in place just in case of emergency. So this is a veterinary release form. This release form gives us permission to talk to your vet about your pet while you're not there. And this is just one of the ways that we make sure that we're prepared for anything. Luckily, we've never had a pet emergency, but we have this on hand because we don't wait for emergencies to happen before we make plans. <laughs> You know? So hopefully that was a good taste of what to look out for in a trustworthy pet sitter. As you do your research, I encourage you, in fact, I urge you to ask questions. Ask all of these questions. Ask them about their insurance. Ask them about their pet first aid certification. Ask them about their veterinary release form. Ask all these questions because, like I said, you're giving somebody the keys to your home and you're giving somebody access to your precious fur babies. You can never ever be too careful and there's so many horror stories on the news out there you deserve peace of mind and you deserve to know that you've made the right choice in hiring a pet sitter and you deserve to enjoy your vacation without freaking out about whether the pet sitter did their job or not and if they don't tick all these boxes i say move on find somebody else because you will there are so many pet sitters out there your pets and your belongings and your home are just too precious for that kind of risk best of luck with your search and i hope that was helpful this is sarah from pets go signing out bye